Okay, now we're gonna add some swags. So you take your petal tip and I put a little paint right on top. So I did about three fingers and a little bit of paint. Three fingers, I just brushed a tiny bit of paint. Three fingers, paint. Three fingers, paint. Just a little bit so the spackling will stick. Okay, then you do a swag. Then point of the petal down this time. Swag. I can see a drop of paint right there, so. Swag. That's a little short. So, let me fix that real quick. I always keep toothpicks handy so I can scrape it off if I need to. easily fixable. So, okay, that's a little bit more even. Swag. And you don't want your hand to be like this with the cake. You want your hand to be like this. So that it's, the swag is touching and flat. It'll turn out completely different if you do it with your hand, with this part of your hand facing directly the cake. It's gonna turn out different than if your hand is at an angle and you're doing it like this. That's the way you wanna do it. Your hand is almost backwards. It's like facing The palm, your palm is almost facing you. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Your palm is facing you. Got a little air bubble there. So I'm gonna scrape it off. So we got the swags. Now we pick up the star tip again. We do the teardrop. We're gonna do like a double teardrop. So you start below the swag, go press, and bring it up. Press and bring it up. Now this one you do want facing your the bag facing directly towards the cake. Push, bring it up. Push, bring it up. Push, bring it up. You're kind of like gently releasing. Push, bring it up. Pressure, less pressure. Pressure, less pressure.
So that's the sides completed. Now on the top, you're gonna do a shell border with the same tip. This again, I guess the angle of the bag is important. You want it at like a, if you were looking at a clock, it would be like a, like a two o'clock angle to get a nice shell border. Let me try it this way. Make sure you can see what I'm doing. Pressure release. Pressure release. Pressure release. Okay, all the way around. So if you're holding the bag straight in front of you, when you do the shell border on top, the bag should be at like a two o'clock angle. Hopefully that makes sense. So this is 12, you know, two, that kind of an angle. Okay. Then one more time, you're going to get the pedal bag and you're going to Okay, it's going to be thin side away from you towards the center of the cake. I'm gonna have to hold my phone. So you can see that. Push, push, release, push, release, push, release, push, release. Okay, I'm trying not to make you dizzy. I'm moving slowly. Okay. So that's it. If you do that last detail on the top of the cake, and you get that is your end result. Okay? So that is your lace. Six by six foam cake. Pretty enough for a wedding. If you can imagine this in like a two tier form, definitely wedding material. All right, I hope you like that one. I'll see you next video. Bye.